The NiceHash Miner app. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Shane here, thanks for stopping by my channel. So today we're gonna to dive into the NiceHash Miner app, see what it's all about. Also, it's the Insta Twin video for my free Bitcoin giveaway, Bitcoin Friday. So stay tuned for details on how you can enter this week's contest. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell and setting all notifications. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Let's get into it. All right, so just a few days ago, I did a review of the latest version of NiceHash. If you guys missed that video, it should be popping up here in a minute. Be sure to check that out. So today I wanted to dive into the latest version of the NiceHash app. Now it's not something you need to have, but it is kind of convenient if you do run NiceHash on your mining rigs. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the computer real quick. I'll show you guys where you can get it. Then we'll hop into my phone and I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it and what it's all about. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we are on NiceHash.com. As usual, everything I'm talking about will be down below this video, so don't worry about looking for any of this information for yourself. So before you log in, this little blue bar right here, it says download the official NiceHash mobile app for Android. It says click here. So you click there and it takes you over to the Android store. Well, all you gotta do is go ahead and click install. As you can see, I've already done that. And it'll automatically install on your Android device. It usually takes less than five minutes and it'll be up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump into the phone and I'll show you guys how to maneuver around the new NiceHash app. All right, so once you go ahead and you download the app and get it installed and ready to go, of course, it's gonna ask you for your username and password to get logged in. Then you're gonna to have to verify with your two-factor authentication if you have that kind of a thing set up. And then once you do that, you'll be landing on this home page right here. As you can see, I've got one active rig going right now. That would be my NVIDIA rig and the unpaid mining balance. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can click on history and stats. And it'll show you about your weekly projected income, profitability, the different algorithms your rig is using right now. As you can see, I'm running Dagger Hashimoto, which of course is Ethereum and X16R V2 on my CPU. I haven't really figured out what that is yet. If you guys know, let me know down below in the comments. I'm interested in knowing what that is. So we go back, payment history, and it just shows you, of course, all your mining payments. You can see I'm making every couple of hours, 30 cents, 29 cents, 33 cents, nothing to write home about, and it just goes all the way down through all your latest payments. Detailed mining stats, it'll show you what you've mined over the last you know, 24 hours or so. And as you can see there, I'm doing Dagger Hashimoto, mainly, which of course is Ethereum, Kryptonite R, X16RV2, and Lyra 2Z. So let's go ahead and tap back now. We'll go back again to history and stats. If you click on the bottom icon here, total amount in my BTC wallet right there is $16.61. Available is $16.39. And then of course you can withdraw right there if that is what you want to do. And then you can scroll down a bit and these are all of your different wallets. Ether, Litecoin, Zcash, etc., etc. Of course you can deposit cryptocurrency in there as well. But I don't know really why you would want to go ahead and do that unless you're maybe going to buy some hashing power. And speaking of hashing power, you go on to the next page right here. And this will just show you what you can buy. SHA-256, which of course is Bitcoin. And they've got all different kinds of different algorithms that you can go ahead and buy hashing power if that's what you wanted to do. Notifications, you have received mining payments, withdrawal requests, things of that nature. And if you go over to the last page, this just goes through all your account settings, withdrawal addresses, and things of that nature. Of course, I'm not gonna go through that on the video. You guys can figure that out for yourself. So in a nutshell, that's the Nice Hash Miner app. One main thing I like about this app is it will notify you if your rig goes down, which is a good feature to have. 
going forward in the future and it's always good to know when your rigs are up and down. You can also click on global rig controller right there and you can click start all or stop all which I thought was a neat feature as well. But again that's only if your rig should happen to shut down for any particular reason. You can go ahead and start it right from your NiceHash app. So that is the app in a nutshell. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's something that uh, you would be interested in using? If you are using NiceHash, let me know down below. So now let's go ahead and jump back into the computer and I'll show you guys how to enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here we are back in the computer. Let's head over to my website. While we're here, make sure you enter your email address right there. YouTube doesn't always notify you guys of my interest to win videos that come out every week, as long as Bitcoin is above 7K. So this is just another way for me to get in contact with you guys, let you know my interest to win video has come out. So you can come on over, watch it, and enter that particular week's contest. So do that real quick before we move on. Here we are, Bitcoin Friday's free Bitcoin giveaway, 5-1-2020 would be this Friday. Let's go ahead and click on it, scroll down. And as it is every week, you're just gonna have to answer one question correctly. What was this video about? It's really a no-brainer, there's only one correct answer. Once you go ahead and do that, you're gonna enter your name and email address. You have to verify that email address. Then you'll come back over to the website where you'll have additional opportunities to get multiple entries into this week's contest by following me on various social media and watching a video. It's really just a better chance for you guys to win the contest from week to week. So remember, if you guys missed my latest nice hash minor 2020 review, be sure to check that out. If you guys have any additional questions or comments, be sure to put them down below and I'll definitely get back to you. If you like this video, spread the word. I would appreciate that. It helps the channel. And again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Click that notification bell. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.